My brother Shane has shown a real cooperative spirit by loaning me one of his superstars. I'm teaming him up with one of my own superstars against you this week. The number one contender for your championship at WrestleMania. Only reason you've held that championship as long as you have is because you're not on my brand. I can't wait to come to Raw this week and show you what a real superstar can do in your ring. I'm the number one contender for your championship at WrestleMania, and I'll do anything it takes to win. Anything. And if that means working together with one of Shane's superstars, then that's what I'll do. We are less than six weeks away from WrestleMania. This is good old JR Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler at ringside. And the managerial shakeup in WWE continues. That's right, SmackDown has a new general manager, Shane McMahon. This is obviously an escalation of the McMahon's war against the champion. And if you think things were bad for him before, you ain't seen nothing yet, JR. The McMahons are pulling out all the stops to take out the champion before WrestleMania. And I don't like the idea of a SmackDown superstar appearing on Raw. But if you're looking to get rid of someone, this is the guy you turn to. But the day don't have no memory. I'm coming. Nobody can stop me. You think you know I wonder how the number one contender feels about being partnered with a SmackDown superstar to face the champion in this non-title match. He should be thrilled. He's got the biggest match of his life in WrestleMania, and matches like this one are only going to make his job easier. The McMahons have been relentless in their attempts to destroy this man. And every week, it only seems to get worse. This is not the way you want to be heading into a WrestleMania title defense, that's for sure. is going to continue until someone's completely debilitated. And considering the resiliency of these superstars, that's not going to be easy. That's for sure. No one in this match is going down without a fight, and I wouldn't expect any less from the King. Like them or not, you've got to respect the tenacity of each and every WWE superstar. Boy, what a match. I wouldn't even hazard a guess as to who's going to win this thing. What? Have you got both your contacts in one eye, JR? It's been obvious to me since the start of the match. Oh, he's got his opponent in position. I think he's going for it. No, it can't be. Not the FU. You got to I don't know if his opponent has what it takes to kick out. What a shot! He's been busted wide open! That's gonna need stitches for sure! Stitches, hell! That might mean the end of this match! 
Can his opponent kick out of this One, inning predicament? Two, three. There aren't many. It looks like the champ's ready for more. Hold up. What's he doing here? This is just plain wrong. There's no place on Raw for a sneak attack by a SmackDown superstar, especially on our champion. I agree, but with the McMahons running the show, what do you expect? Since you're not medically cleared to compete this week, I'm going to find a scapegoat to represent you in a match against our enforcers. Pay attention, because everything that happens to him is what you've got to look forward to between now and WrestleMania. Stephanie McMahon's got me going up against your number one contender with another one of their enforcers at ringside. I know you're not cleared to compete, but I could use a little help, especially since you're the one they really want anyway. We are just over one month away from the biggest sports entertainment event of the year, WrestleMania. This is Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler at ringside, and though he's not medically cleared to compete, the champion is here. What is he thinking? After what happened last week, this is the last place he should be. He's a fighting champion, King. He's not one to run from a challenge. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity, JR, and he may have just crossed it. No disrespect intended, but I don't think he stands much of a chance in this match. He's nothing but a scapegoat for the man they really want to get their hands on, and this is not going to be pretty. You think you know? I can't say that I'm surprised to see the number one contender coming out here with backup. Not that he needs it. But he's got the biggest match of his career in one month, and he can't afford an injury. Look at this. The champion isn't medically cleared to compete, but he's here anyway. I admire the guy's heart, but I'm not sure it's pumping enough blood to his brain. He's risking a career-ending injury here. This match is going to continue until someone's completely de- What does he think he's doing? He's just showing off for the crowd now. He's thrusting the match his way. And I think it's going to pay off, mark my words. He's all fired up now, King. And I'd hate to be on the receiving end. I don't think his opponent's got a hope of hurting him now. 
Oh, here we go. What a jerk. How about continuing the match? I don't think he's in any hurry to end this one, King. And I don't think the crowd wants it to end either. It doesn't appear that Edge is getting much love from this crowd tonight, and who can blame them? They're certainly not getting much from Edge. <coughs> That's not true, JR. I'm sure this arena is just full of Edge heads tonight. You might not hear them cheering, but that's prop. Oh man, I think we're about to see a high risk move here. He can pin him right here, JR. One, two. Benny Superstar Show. Uh oh. Looks like he's got a song he wants to play for his opponent. Sweet Chin Music. That's a total tamper, all right. Looks like someone's heading for the high rent district. Look at Shawn Michaels. The future Hall of Famer has overcome so much adversity in his career. But the Heartbreak Kid's got more heart than anyone I've ever seen in this business. You know, JR, HBK might be a living legend and all, but I wish he'd just keep his mouth shut and let his actions in the ring speak for him. He's never met a microphone he didn't like. Michaels has impressed me more times than I can count, King. Even you have to admit that he's done a lot for this business. Yeah, and the business has done a lot for him. Michaels tries to come off as a goody two-shoes, but when it comes to... Oh, boy! Of all the things that can happen to you in a ring, that's got to be one of the most painful. No kidding, JR. That's some very delicate equipment down there. I'll tell you, JR, it's rough to get to a point in a match where you want to keep going, uh, but you... Would you look at that? A blatantly illegal oh. maneuver. That should be a disqualification. You might be right, JR, but I don't hear the ring bell. This match is still going. I'm so happy that we have a superstar like Edge on the Raw roster. Someone who sets goals for himself and doesn't let anything stop him from reaching them. Why? He's a great role model for young fans. Oh, he's a terrific role model, all right. Edge Dude. is a real humanitarian. A guy who would just as soon sell you out as look at you. What are you talking about, JR? That's just a nasty rumor spread by people who wanted to be in Edge's league but couldn't keep up with him. Come on, King. You've watched Edge as much as I have. And you've seen the things he's pulled. Talk about someone whose heart is as cold as the other side of the pill. Well, I'm sorry you've decided to sympathize with the losers, JR. Me, I'm sticking with a winner. I'm sticking with Edge. <laughs> oh, man! That's gonna change the tone of this match, JR. Yeah, and not for the better either. I wish the ref would actually pay attention to what's going on. Man, is there even going to be anything left of these superstars by the time they're done? Not if they have their way, King. Ugh. Everything they came in here with tonight is go He might be thinking of one of his favorite tunes. No! Sweet chin music! I don't believe it! I don't know if his opponent has what it takes one, to kick out. Two, three... Boy, what a match. They are absolutely livid at the champion's interference. They thought this was just going to be a two-on-one muggy, but it was a lot more competitive than that. And as furious as they are, I can only imagine the McMahons are even angrier. And that's a scary thought right there. I hate to even think about what the McMahons have in store for the champion now. Well, realistically, how much worse can things get for him?
Hey, thanks for backing me up last week. I'll return the favor this week. I know you've got a tough match ahead of you, and we all know your opponent won't be coming to the ring alone. You should maybe follow the example of your ex-general manager and take an extended vacation one way or another. You'll be taking some time off soon anyway. You might as well enjoy it instead of spending it in a hospital bed. I've got to admit, I expected our enforcers to have taken you out of the picture by now. I guess it really is hard to find good help these days. Sooner or later, I might have to take care of you myself. Welcome to Raw, where WrestleMania is less than one month away. It's good old JR Jim Ross and Jerry the King Lawler at ringside. And tonight's main event is a champion versus champion matchup. Raw and SmackDown are going head to head, and we'll see who blinks. And I can only imagine that the odds will be stacked against our champion tonight. <laughs> what makes you say that? Besides the way he's been treated for the past several months, I mean. thought would see the day where SmackDown's champion would be accompanied to the ring by Raw's number one contender. I can't say I'm too thrilled about it, but if you think I'm going to criticize the McMahon's decisions, you're crazy. The champion stood up for this superstar last week despite not being medically cleared to compete. And it looks like he's returning the favor. That was a smart move on the champ's part because there's no way he'd survive this match if he didn't. And it's been reversed. <coughs> You've got to respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. No question about it, King. Every superstar on the roster has had to make more sacrifices than any other professional athlete I know. It really is like being married to your career. There's not much room for anything else. And marriage is a subject which you happen to be something of an authority. Isn't that right, King? Come on now, JR. A man doesn't know what true happiness is until he's married. And then it's too late. You talk about the future of WWE, and you're looking at it in John Cena. Oh, come on, JR. John Cena's a thug. You know it, I know it, and all of these people know it. It makes me sick that he's allowed to be a WWE superstar. I don't know how you can say that, King. Cena has dedicated himself to entertaining these fans, and quite frankly, I find him to have more character than many so-called respectable superstars. There's a difference between entertaining the fans and setting a bad example, JR. I don't have any earthly idea what you're talking about, King. I think Cena sets a great example for our fans and superstars alike. He turned the tables on his opponent with that one. I'd be a lot more impressed by Ken Kennedy if I didn't think he was such a pompous ass. Hey, when you're as great as Mr. Kennedy, it's hard to be humble, JR. Ugh. 
has gone beyond just being a match, JR. I think these superstars genuinely hate each other. There's no love lost between these competitors, that's for sure. If looks could kill, somebody would be pushing up daisies right now. And you've got to admit, that makes for a much more interesting match, JR. It sure does. But I just hope you're not going to win a match by insulting your opponent. No, but having the crowd behind you can certainly get the adrenaline up. Look at the fans, JR. They know what's coming next. They sure do. And there it is. The FU. What an impact. One, two, three. There aren't many superstars as diversely talented. They were under orders to destroy the champion tonight, and they came up short. That's not a feeling that these two are familiar with, and it shows. With just over three weeks to go until WrestleMania, do you think the champ will make it? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I didn't think he'd make it out of here in one piece. I don't think you were alone in that. I had some doubts of my own. All I can say is, I don't know how much longer his luck is going to hold.